Finance Minister Ntlantle Nene's request to be relieved from his duties because he's proven not to be trustworthy. They say that the saga surrounding Minister Nene must be resolved with immediate effect to avoid further uncertainty in the financial markets which have lost confidence in him. The rand has recovered slightly after weakening to almost 15 rand against the US dollar this morning in anticipation of Minister Nene's resignation. Economists say the saga has caused uncertainty and panic in the market and this is likely to make the cost of borrowing expensive for the country and that this could lead to the ratings agencies downgrading the country's credit rating. Uh, certainly made the rating for himself and we have to call it a failure. There's no doubt that if a, a finance minister cannot be trusted, which is, I'm sorry to say, what he has proved to be not completely trustworthy by saying that, some, that he did not meet somebody when he did by not being prepared to, to divulge what the subjects uh, under discussion were. Uh, and, and in fact, you know, it appears he may have been misled the whole of the South African public through what he said uh, in public statements. That has got to say, I'm afraid, that overwhelms any other technical abilities he may have had in drawing up a budget or managing the finance ministry. And, and I think that that is why we come to, uh, to the view that his offer to resign should be accepted. He has not been proved to be a person that demands the respect of complete trustworthiness. It did damage his credibility. Uh, people have uh, accused him of having lied about his initial uh, meetings with the Guptas.